A river is a natural channel of fresh water that flows across the earth's surface. All rivers start in mountains or hills and flow down towards the sea or ocean or into another large area of water. They may be short or flow for hundreds of kilometers. Tributary A stream or river that flows into a larger river rather than directly to the sea is called a tributary. Some large rivers have hundreds of tribut tributaries. V-shaped valley and gorge. Near its source, a river flows very fast. The rushing water wears away the surrounding rock. This widens and deepens the river channel, forming a gorge or V-shaped valley. Source. This is where a river starts, high up in the mountains. The source or place where the river starts from could be a, a spring or a lake or even a melting glacier. A river can have more than one source. Waterfall Rivers usually flow over a mixture of hard and soft rock. The force of the water will wear away more soft rock than harder rock. Where this happens, there may be a steep drop in the level of the riverbed, creating a waterfall. Meander A meander is a curve or bend in a river. It forms when the flow of water wears away the land on one side of the river, then dumps the broken down rocks this creates on the other side, increasing the area of land there. Fertile floodplains. These are flat areas of land next to a river. Water in a river may increase for some reason and become too much for the river to carry. It then overflows onto the flush plain. Soil in flush plains is usually very fertile. History or Delta Near the sea, salt water mixes with fresh water, forming an estuary. The land is flatter, so the river shows down. If it slows down enough, mud is deposited, creating a delta with several channels that the river now flows through. Glaciers. A glacier is a huge river of ice that forms when thick layers of snow fall on top of each other and are pressed together. Most glaciers form high up in mountains where it's so cold that any snowfall never melts. They are found all around the world, usually, usually in polar and mountain regions. Parts of a glacier. Circuits are deep hollows near the top of a glacier formed where a glacier has moved over an area and worn away the rock. Accumulation zones are found at the top of glaciers where the snowfall has built up often over hundreds of years. Valley glaciers flow through steep walled valleys. They eventually wear down the valley sides making them much rounder. Lateral moraines are long ridges of rock, soil and dirt left along the sides of a moving glacier. Medial moraines are piles of rock, soil and dirt that are left behind where two glaciers meet. Glacier terminus The glacier terminus is the lower end of a glacier. It is sometimes called the toe or snout. Some gla glaciers end further down a mountain where the ice melts to form lakes and streams. Others reach the coast where large chunks break off into the sea, creating iceberg. This is called calving. Erosion 
erosion is the wearing away of rocks and other matter on the earth's surface by a natural force such as a sliding glacier a flowering river or a wind material that is rubbed off is carried away and deposited somewhere else water erosion this is caused by falling rain or flowing water rivers for example wear away the land that they flow over changing the surrounding landscape wind erosion the force of the wind can remove pieces of rock and carry them off wind erosion is common in deserts ice erosion as glaciers move they rub away the land under them carrying the broken down material with them coastal erosion crashing waves gradually wear away the rock in cliffs and sweep up material from the beach weathering weathering occurs when rocks are weakened so that they crack and then break up into smaller pieces this na- natural pe- process can be caused by rainfall changes in temperature or even by plants as they grow there are three types of weathering biological chemical and physical biological weathering this is when plants or animals causes rocks to break up plant ro- roots often grow into small cracks in rocks splitting them apart an animal digging can also turn rocks into rubble water erosion created the grand canyon in north america chemical weathering chemical reactions can break up rock acid rain for example destroys the st- sun in state statue and buildings physical weathering wind water and temperature changes weaken rock if water in a crack free- freezes it expands and can tear a rock apart caves caves are underground spaces or holes that are large enough for someone to enter they form in many different ways but mostly because of rock in the earth surface being worn away or crumbling caves usually have lots of interesting and exciting features to explore stalagmite water dripping onto the cave floor leaves behind tiny rocky particles that were dissolved <coughs> in the dripping continues these particles can build up to form a pillar of rock or stalagmite solutional caves these are the most common type of cave they are created when a build up of acidic water dissolves the rock around it holes and tunnels start to appear getting bigger and bigger as more rock dissolves and is washed away types of caves caves are found all over our planet some are small single spaces but others contain many chambers linked by tunnels to form a huge maze of different areas although most caves are found in rock some form in ice or lava lava caves when lava flows slowly over land around a volcanoes it can harden on the surface leaving liquid lava flowing underneath this liquid drains away leaving a hollow tube of rock that forms a cave stella stalactite these hang down like icy icicles they form in the same way as stalagmites from rocky particles dissolved in water this time dripping from the caves ceiling soda straws these thin hollow tubes also form from dissolved particles in water dripping slowly through the roof of a cave they may grow into 
stalactites if the water keeps dripping for a very long time column if a stalagmite and a stalactite become long enough and meet they will form a rocky column columns are also created when a stalactite grows down to touch the cave floor ice caves ice melting on top of a glacier can form a stream or waterfall that flows through the glacier eventually this flowing water will hollow out part of the glacier creating an ice cave sea caves these are formed by waves constantly battering against the cliffs along the seashore this leads to cracks appearing in the cliffs that get larger as beating waves continue to wear away the rock record breakers our planet is full of incredible natural wonders some of which are millions of years old from sky scraping mountains to underground caves here are five of earth's record breaking land features mount everest nepal the peak of mount everest lies 8848 meter above sea level making it the world's highest mountain it is 10 times taller than the world's tallest building the burj khalifa skyscraper in dubai nile river africa the world's longest river in the nile at 6825 km in length it flows through 11 african countries from burundi to egypt where it meets the mediterranean sea the nile takes its name from the greek for river valley krubera cave georgia the world's deepest cave lies in asia stretching down 2197 meter it is nearly as deep as seven of pa- paris eiffel towers russians call the cave horonya meaning crow cave after the many crows nesting at the entrance atacama desert chile covering 1000 km the south Amer- american desert is one of the driest places on earth some parts have not seen rain rainfall since records began at least 400 years ago angel falls venezuela spectacular angel falls in the world's tallest waterfall with a drop of 979 meter it is more than twice the height of new york's empire state building american pilot jimmy angel first spotted the waterfall from the air in 1933 biomes earth can be divided up into a number of different types of landscape these zones are called as biomes every biome is home to a particular group of plants and animals that are suited to the conditions found there deserts deserts are very dry as there is little or no rainfall they can be very hot or very cold the plants and animals found in deserts have adapted to living in these extreme conditions wetlands wetlands are permanently flooded with water this can be salt water fresh water or a mixture of both swamps bogs marshes and deltas are all types of wetlands many birds thrive in this environment mountains mountains are high places with a cold windy climate it gets colder the higher up you go so different groups of plants and animals are found at different heights rainforest rainforest get a lot of rain most of them also get a lot of sunlight and are very hot all year round they are home to many different plants and animals the larger rainforest is the tropical amazon rainforest in south america 
डेलिशियस फॉरेस्ट डेसीड्यूस फॉरेस्ट द टेम्परेचर एंड रेनफॉल इन डेसीड्यूस फॉरेस्ट चेंजेस फ्रॉम सीजन टू सीजन ड्यूरिंग द ऑटम एंड विंटर मोस्ट ट्रीज चेंज कलर एंड लूज देयर ल्यूट्स टुंड्रा इट इज यूजली वेरी कोल्ड एंड विंडी इन द टुंड्रा एंड देयर इज नॉट मच रेन द ग्राउंड इज ऑफन कवर्ड इन स्नो सो ओनली अ फ्यू प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स कैन लिव देयर Coniferous forest. These forests have long, cold, snowy winters and short, warm summers. Trees here have adapted <coughs> to this harsh climate. They are mostly evergreen, meaning <coughs> they stay <coughs> green all year round. Grasslands. Grasslands get little rainfall. Only grass and a few small trees. and bushes can grow in these dry places but many animals such as zebras and elephants manage to live there polar ice this is the coldest biome on earth the freezing temperatures make it difficult for any plants to survive animals such as polar bears penguins and seals have adapted well to life here conservation we need to preserve and take good care of the earth and its resources the air water soil plants and animals on which we depend this is what con- conservation is all about learn to conserve play this game to find out more about what can harm and what can help conserve our planet grab a dice and some Uh, counters and get started uh, how is our planet affected when people fail to conserve resources earth is affected in a number of ways energy natural fuels such as gas and coal are used up too quickly and cannot be replaced pollution waste gas waste gases in the atmosphere trap heat from the sun so the earth gets hotter water higher temperatures along with low rainfall will eventually lead to drop drought food drought and soil pollution can damage crops so there is no enough food forest cutting down trees can lead to plants and animals losing their homes waste waste pollutes the environment also if we waste waste resources they will run out weather sunshine clouds wind rain frost and snow are some of the different weather conditions that we experience on earth the sun plays a major role in the way one set of weather conditions changes to another set large raindrops can fall to earth at speeds of up to 32 km per hour extreme weather we say that we have extreme weather when conditions are very different to those that we are used to extreme weather can suddenly appear without warning and may may last for hours or even days bringing death and destruction to an area flooding heat waves blizzards hurricanes and tornadoes are all types of extreme weather seasons and climate earth takes a year to travel or orbit around the sun at the same time it spins on its axis an imaginary line between the poles this means the amount of sunlight falling on any area of earth varies during the year changing the weather and creating seasons spring summer autumn and winter how seasons change earth 
tilts on its axis as it spins and orbits around the sun this tilt causes one half or hemisphere of earth to lean towards the sun while the other half leans away in the half leaning towards the sun it is summer in the other half it will then winter spring is a time of change between summer and winter days gradually get brighter warmer and wetter leaves start to grow in on the trees and baby animals are both baby animals are born winter is the coldest season days get shorter and nights get longer some animals grow thick coats to keep them warm in winter others just fall asleep or hibernate summer is the hottest season the days get longer and the nights become shorter plants grow well in the warm sunlight there are lots of green leaves on the trees autumn is when summer gradually changes into winter temperature start to cool the leaves on the trees change color to orange and brown then fall to the ground climate the climate of an area is the type of weather it usually experiences it includes the amount of rainfall hours of sunshine and highest lowest and average temperatures earth is divided into climate zones that are based on their distance from the equator tropical zone this area is very hot and damp all year round it rains a lot and thunder storms are common subtropical zone here summers are long dry and hot winters are wet but usually short and mild temperate zone extreme conditions are rare here summers are warm and winters cold but not freezing polar zone it is icy and dry all year around round here winters are long and dark while in summer the sun shines most of the time climate change earth's climate has always changed naturally over time however climate change now appears to be speeding up many recent changes in climate are caused by our modern way of life earth is getting warmer which can have a huge effect on the environment causes humans are thought to be responsible for the most recent major climate changes waste gases from industry transport and deforestation have built up in earth's atmosphere these trap more heat around the earth so temperature rise industry whenever we burn oil coal or natural gas waste gases are released into the atmosphere transport we now use cars buses and planes regularly they all fill the air with lots of waste gases deforestation trees help remove gases from the air as more trees are cut down more waste gases stay in the air how can we help there are many ways you can help slow down climate change just by turning off your computer or the tv when you are not using them or the lights when you leave a room or by walking to school you reduce the level of waste gases in the atmosphere renewable energy use more energy from resources that there are plenty of such as sunshine wind and waves green transport avoid transport that releases waste gases into the air when you can cycle or 
walk instead extreme weather heat waves droughts heavy rain and flooding are becoming more and more common because of earth's atmosphere warming up rise in sea level higher temperatures melt glaciers and ice caps the water formed eventually flows into the ocean sea levels rise and areas near the coasts are coast are flooded changing natural habitats many animals live in special places such as on sea ice or in cold coral reefs warmer temperatures can destroy both of these so animals lose their home recycle recycle plastic glass and paper this reduces the amount of waste sent to land fill sites save electricity stop leaving your computer or the tv on standby and turn off lights when you leave a room grow your own food food grown at or nearer home saves on the fuel needed to transport it to local shops soil soil is the layer of loose material between the surface and the solid rock below the ground nothing can grow on earth without it but the soil varies in different places grasses the soil is rich in nutrients so many grasses can grow healthy and quickly leaf cutter ants ants dig tunnels into the soil letting in air and moving around decaying plants and animals which adds nutrients to the soil forest floor many leaves from the thick tree canopy fall to the dark forest floor floor and decay buttress roots trees have shallow roots underground to quickly take in the water and nutrients in the top soil dung beetle these creature these creatures feed on and break up or decompose animal poop adding nutrients to the soil long roots trees and grasses have long roots that go deep down to collect as much water as possible from the soil grassland the soil is usually deep and full of nutrients this is because rooting rooting grass roots help to hold the soil together and add nutrients for new plants plants complete for water tropical rainforest the soil is very wet and many plants grow so there is lots of humus to add nutrients to the soil however these nutrients are washed away by the constant rain leaving shallow acidic soil soil profiles soil is made up of broken rocks minerals decaying plants and animals tiny creatures gases and water if a section is cut through soil you will see many layers the depth of the layer vary in different soils humus dead plants and animals decay adding nutrients or goodness to the soil subsoil this moist layer contains clay and minerals from the weathered rock top soil this dark layer is full of tiny creatures and nutrients which plants use to grow leaching layer water drips through this layer leaving mostly sand and slit weathered rock large rocks are broken up from the solid bedrock below cactus cacti have shallow roots and thick stems so they can collect and store water autumn leaves when leaves drop to the forest floor they decay putting nutrients back 
into the soil deep roots deserted trees have very long roots to reach down and collect water from deep underground tree roots roots of deciduous trees reach different layers of the soil to collect water and nutrients earthworms burrowing earthworms mix the soil layers letting air in and allowing water to drain through kangaroos rat when burrowing animals break down large rocks mix up the soil and lay let air into it desert the soil is very dry and few plants grow so there is little humus it is made up of boulders pebbles and sand and is blown around by the wind any water drains through the sand easily temperate deciduous forest the soil is moist and full of nutrients from the decaying plants and animals especially in autumn the deep roots of plants break up the bed rock which adds minerals water often drains through steadily